Welcome back. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Linda Boo, and this right here is my beauty space. So I'm super pumped to film today's video because it's going to be my first episode to my new series. So a little backstory in it, if you guys are new to my channel and you don't know what the hell I'm doing, I'm starting a new series on my channel and it's pretty much just like at the end of the day everything is finally like done moving and I'm just in my beauty room and I'm gonna put on a face mask and I'm just going to talk to you guys about a couple different things that I may haul. It could be clothes, it could be shoes, makeup, just different things that I hauled and it's just pretty much like a haul video but like I see so many people on YouTube they do they film like different hauls and stuff and they're all like dressed up and you know they're all dolled up and they look super cute and stuff which is nothing's wrong with that so I don't know I feel like it's more personal so it's more personal since you know what I mean I'm chilling and you're chilling and we just gonna chill together and just talk about all different random stuff but yeah that's pretty much it so it's just different hauls it could be makeup shoes clothes home decor kids clothes just different things that I haul um and yeah, it's, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I hope, I, I'm terrible at explaining things, but I hope you guys find more enjoyment out of watching me than hearing me explain what my series is going to be about. <laughs> so <laughs> bear with me on that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I am going to wash my face. Um, I'm going to change to something more comfortable and then I'm going to put on a face mask. So uh, yeah, we're going to get started right after that. So pause this video. Wash your face, grab a snack, put on a face mask, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, welcome back. I know I look super crazy right now, but uh, yeah, at least I'm comfortable, right? So I'm just wearing um, one of Johnny's shirts. I usually wear his shirts to go to bed because they're super big and super comfy. Um, my headband, I have like a whole bunch of these. Um, I usually buy them from Forever 21. And then my face mask... Um, I don't know which one this is. I just bought it. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I'm using for my face mask, I'll leave everything in the description down below. So you know how I always say that I'm like a drugstore queen, but your girl was trying to be, you know, bad and bougie. So I went to Sephora. Honestly, I think it's going to be the last time I buy something at Sephora because I bought, I think, like five items and it was expensive like I would have bought five items at Walmart or Target and I would have still had money left over to buy a whole bunch of other extra shit but whatever so um most of the stuff is from Sephora and then I bought two things that were from the website called Beautylish so I just threw it in there because they're kind of all like high end or whatever so I just kind of threw it in there this face mask is getting a little tight or whatever. Well, this is the first thing that I picked up and it is the IT Cosmetics CC um, cream, full coverage cream and I know this has been out for a while but I was like, I kept on going back and forth with it and I ended up picking it up because in the summertime I like to wear something that's kind of like light um, and I like CC creams because I don't know, it's like natural, it's easy, it's quick, it's nothing like too dramatic. So, it's like your skin but better, so that's why I picked this up. But when I bought this, the guy there sold me, he said, for, because this was $38. So he said, for an additional, for one more dollar, I could have got the kit, which came with a um, travel size superhero mascara and the IT Cosmetics Secret Sauce Moisturizer for one dollar. So... This was $39, and I got my shade and just put in there. So it was cute for $39. I didn't try the mascara or the moisturizer yet. Um, I did use the uh, CC cream, and I like it because it's um, it's like a hydrating, dewy finish. So it's nice, it's light, and um, has all these good like benefits in it. So it's like anti-aging, hydrating serum, and it has like SPF of 50 and everything. So it's really good so that's why I got that and then I also picked up oh and then on the Sephora website this has been out of stock for like the longest time and it finally came back um, in stock so 
I purchased it, which is the Huda Beauty Fox Filter Foundation. Um, it's been, I, I think it came out like in October of last year, but it was sold out for like the longest time. But I finally got it and I finally ordered it. Um, and I did use it and I like it. This is what the packaging looks like. It's not glass though. Like I thought this was 40 bucks. So I assumed for a $40 foundation, this was going to be like in better high end packaging. I don't know, but it's very full coverage, like half a pump literally covered my whole entire face. Um, and it's really nice. It's a nice foundation, but I'll probably save this for like when I go out on like day nights or something or at like special occasions with Johnny because this bitch was, it was 40 bucks. I was like, mm, girl, but it's a nice foundation. I like it. It's, if you use a lot of it, I feel like, um, it will get super cakey and super like, like cake face status. So I don't know. It's up your, it's personally like your preference, but I use like a little bit of it and it covered literally half a pump covered my whole entire face. So then I also picked up um, from Sephora the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. I don't know if you guys could see it. And I've been wanting this foundation for like the longest, but this is also 40 bucks. And I just kept on going back and forth with it and I finally caved. And this is what it looks like on the inside, the bottle. It's so pretty. And this, for 40 bucks came with a glass bottle. And it's a dropper for the applicator. It's a dropper. Um, and it's a nice foundation. I've used this several times, and it's very light. It has a nice, like, dewy, natural finish, depending on how much powder you use and what kind of primer you use. But I actually like this foundation a lot. Um, I'm trying to play around with it more just to see if I have any drugstore foundation that might be a dupe for this one. But overall, though, I really like this foundation. Girl, let's talk about this. So, let's talk about this. I wasn't going to get it, but I got it because I was like, you know what? The packaging, I'm just a really bad when it comes to packaging like I'm such a sucker when it comes to packaging so I purchased the Tatcha silk canvas primer okay so this I know you guys have seen pictures and reviews about this everywhere this is what it looks like I have been using it look at the packaging though it's so pretty look at that it's so like fancy and high-end and luxurious so this this primer was $50 and I was like, oh girl, but I've been using it and I actually really love it. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And it smells like men's cologne. It smells so good. Um, and this primer, um, it makes my makeup last literally like all day. And it just makes your face look real smooth and just real, like, just, just like what the claim says. Just real silky and just you just have like a nice smooth canvas before you do your makeup so I like it um I'm trying not to like it too much because it is fifty dollars a pop so I don't know but I really do like this primer so I purchased that so then the last thing that I purchased now I wasn't gonna buy this either but the packaging got to me and then also they said it was limited edition so when I heard limited edition, your girl kind of freaked out because I was like, damn, what if it goes out of stock and it, it never comes back in stock? Just like the um, ABH uh, Nicole Guerrero collaboration highlighter palette, it was limited edition in that it's like sold out. Like there's dupes and stuff, but like, you don't get the actual like real thing anymore. So when I heard limited edition, I was like, you know what? I should get it just because. So I got the ABH in collaboration with Amrezy highlighter all right so for the longest i kept on going back and forth i was like do i really want this do i really need it like i'm sure there's a whole bunch of highlighters that i have in my drawer that's exactly the same thing so i was like i don't think i really need it but everyone kept on saying you know you gotta get it you need it you need it and stuff like that so i bought it and yeah so this is what it looks like it's cute it's definitely i don't know if you can see it but it's definitely her and this is the inside. I don't want to blind you guys. Oh, jeez. This is the inside of it. So, 
This is what it looks on the inside, right? Very, very pretty. So, I'm sure you guys have seen it, but I'll just swatch it for you. This is one swipe. Very, very beautiful. So, she made a very nice highlighter. However, I really feel like it's like a champagne gold highlighter. I really feel like I have a highlighter in my collection that's exactly like this. But yeah, if as a makeup collector, I had to buy it. So I like it. I'll keep it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't. This is going to be the last time you guys see my nails long because... I'm going to be actually, the next time I film, you're going to see me with like little nubs because I'm actually going to take my nails off. I'm going to give my nails a break and let them breathe. And yeah, so be prepared to see me with little nubs. Um, we're done with the Sephora haul, but this is one last thing that I purchased. And I purchased this on the Beautylish.com website. I purchased these two, which are the Ordinary light coverage serum foundation. And then I also purchased the Ordinary full coverage coverage foundation so I bought these two because I've seen for a long time on like YouTube a lot of people raving about this foundation but every time that I came across it it was always sold out and I never understood why so I finally saw it I was like you know shopping around and I came across beautylish.com and I saw that they had these two in stock so I hurried up and bought it and yeah the I swatched them just to see if it was going to match because when it comes to me like buying makeup online, I honestly just guess or I do any mini money mo. So, yeah, but when I swatched it, it's very like white. So, yeah, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for my haul. I'm going to wash my face really quick and I'll be right back cuz my face is cracking and I probably look crazy as hell right now, but I'll be right back okay guys so we are back and yes yeah, so that pretty much wraps up the haul the sephora haul and yeah so i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys found it somewhat relaxing or interesting um tell me what you guys like more but do you guys like shopping at sephora are you guys more of like a high-end bougie kind of girl or do you like in the middle with ulta or are you more of the jokester side which are walmart and target so let me know down below but honestly I think this is going to be the last time I shop at Sephora because I got only a couple things and it was expensive like the amount of money that I paid for the things that I got I could have bought my kids shoes and like 10 outfits at Target so yeah that pretty much wraps it up and I hope you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you have not already other than that i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys